so the next thing of living in space is you know, that million dollar question, how do you use the bathroom in space? And Miles said it sucks, and it's a very delicate thing to do. You don't want to rush when you're using the bathroom. On my first flight, um, you know, you kind of sit down. I'll show you. I, we have a different toilet than we do from the station. Okay, our, our toilet looks more like a, a real toilet. They've got something that looks like something from the Stone Ages. But when you train to use the toilet on the ground, they actually have a video camera in the bottom of the toilet. So, because, you know, you've got to be lined up just right. Or you're going to be cleaning lots of things that you don't want to be cleaning. So, so, you know, if you can hit the crosshairs, you have a little monitor sitting right in front of you. You want to make sure you hit the crosshairs. So, I mean, but this is all living in space. It's very important. You've got to, you've got to be perfect at it, you know? So you don't want things, you know, floating around. So, so the toilet on the shuttle side is conventional. We have things that hold our legs down. We have stirrups and so forth. But on the other hand, Sandy's toilet. Next slide. We had a, this is a Russian uh, design. It's very simple, but it's actually easy to use. You do worry the first time you use the restroom, how well is it going to work? Because that's not really as a rookie how you want to start your mission. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't want to start But it works really simply. It's a really simple concept. I mean, when the engineers had to figure out how to make a toilet, so the whole idea was make things go away from you. So they came up with airflow as a good substitute for gravity. And so you turn on a switch. It starts some airflow through the funnel and through the hose, and you can urinate right into the funnel, and uh, the urine gets captured into some tanks. And uh, on board now, we have the ability to recycle urine and recycle condensate or bad water and make it potable. So we're closing our life support system so that it's all self-contained, which is what we need to do to continue our exploration uh, away from the Earth. And so uh, it works pretty well. We have a toilet seat that we sit on, and you know, on the shuttle, Leland mentioned there's some, some uh, straps that can hold you down. This is a small enough compartment that I could put one hand on the ceiling and hold mm -hmm. myself onto the, uh, onto the toilet. And it, it works fine. It's simple, which is good. If the toilet breaks down, it stops all work on the space station, because everybody on the ground is now focused on getting the toilet running again. So you need a toilet that's highly reliable. 